Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Ian Vevo. I'm gonna talk about eight things that poor people do that rich people don't. Number one, poor people, they watch TV a lot. But rich people, they read a lot of books. Think about it guys. Rich people are always rich because they spend a lot of their time reading books, reading books about ideas, books about stocks, shares. But poor people, they watch TV all day and they watch TV when it comes to irrelevant stuff, irrelevant news. They go on TMZ, they watch about celebrity, celebrities, uh, they watch about different aspects of other people's wealth. But when it comes to their own lifestyle, all they do is to sit and just watch TV and they laugh themselves out. That's number one. Number two, poor people get paid based on their time. But rich people, they get paid based on results. For example, a poor person can be a cleaner, cleaning at a facility or you know a job location where they work as a cleaner no matter how good that poor person is when it comes to cleaning they would always end up getting paid based on their time that they worked but a rich person get paid based on results for example look at athletes Basketball players, no matter how much time they spent training, how much time they spent running around the uh, basketball court, they would always get signed by the result, meaning that if they are able to score a lot of balls, put a lot of balls in the basketball net, then at the end of the season, their value goes up meaning that other basketball teams might be interested to come sign them with bigger paychecks so poor people get paid based on time they go to work they clock in they clean they do all sort of you know stuff and they get paid based on their time but rich people they get paid based on results that's number two number th number three poor people blame others for their own misfortunes they always blame somebody they will never blame their own self for their own errors or their own fault poor people they always want to you know talk about their uncle that did not give them money five years ago their friend that did not help them out somebody that was not helping the job oh it's the job the job is not a good job oh uh the, the uncle did not give them uh, a loan somebody is not always you know some it, it is always somebody somebody but rich people, we take responsibility for our own failures, our own misfortune, or our own, you know, wrong actions. So that is the difference between a poor man's mentality and a rich man's mentality. This is so real. You guys probably must have, you know, came across it whereby the poor man would always complain and talk about how this did not happen because of this this person did not help them out this person did them wrong this person was the the cause they would always blame somebody they would never blame their own self they would never say oh it's my own fault i was not working hard enough oh it's my own fault i did not go to school when i should have oh it's my own fault i did not uh invest my money uh, wisely when i had the opportunity they will never blame their own self they would always blame the uncle the auntie uh the friend the cousin the relative that did not give them the support when they needed it they would always find somebody to blame but they will never blame their own stupidity they will never blame their own lack of effectiveness in life that is one aspect that i believe every one of you guys that are watching this video must have came across so that's number three and it is so real guys very very real number four number four poor people focus on savings they save 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 you know saving pennies saving you know one dollar dimes you know poor people focus on savings while rich people focus on investing we rich people we believe that investing is you know is the way that is going to lead you to the success that you are actually looking for think about it guys a poor man would save a dollar a penny they will save coins they will save coins 
you know, panties plus panties equals panties. Quarters plus quarters, you know, you're still gonna keep getting quarters. When you save a dollar plus a dollar, you know, you still really, it, it, it wouldn't get you anywhere. It would not get you that far. But rich people, they believe in investing because it is only when you invest the money that is when you will get more back. Number five, poor people, they know it all. They always act as if they know everything. Rich people, they always learn. A rich man would always listen. A rich man would always pay attention to whatever that is being conveyed. A rich man would listen and consistently, you know, pay attention. But a poor man, they know it all. They would always argue, they would always have their own opinion. A poor man would never, you know, try to uh, listen to what other people are trying to tell them a poor man would always act as if they know it all and a rich man would always sit down and learn that is number five number six poor people and this is really really funny guys and i've talked about this before this is not like it is my first time uh, this is not like it is my first time coming across a topic like this but poor people believe that money is the root of all evil but we rich people we believe that poverty is the root of all evil now look at it guys look at this a poor man's mentality or perhaps poor people that believe that money is the root of all evil money is the root of why people are killing people money is the root of why you know some women are goldy guys money is the reason why some people are doing all of this crazy and bad stuff that is a poor man's mentality that is a poor man's identity but rich people we believe that poverty is the root to all evil think about it how many times have you guys seen you know uh, a robbery whereby they put up in a Rolls Royce in a Bentley and they're robbing a bank no you don't ever see those expensive cars you always would find stolen cars like a Toyota a Honda uh, you know you know cars that were stolen and they will rob a bank how many times have you guys ever to a poor neighborhood like like the ghettos the the third world in Houston Texas the poor places have you guys been to some of those neighborhoods when you go to those community where the poor people live you would instantaneously be able to tell that some people are hungry they need food some people need shelter some people need clothes some people cannot even afford paying their tuition to go to school some people cannot even afford to put their kids at one daycare where you know, somebody would watch over their kids so in the end what do you think those people would go out and do they would want to go out and steal. They would want to go out, go out and rob a bank. They would want to go out and do all sort of crazy stuff so that they can eat food, so that they can buy food, so that they can live and have a roof over their head. Poor people don't have those things and that is why they are doing the evil. So in the end, it is the poverty that is the root of the evil, not the money. Because money by itself is like a tool. It's like a tool that you can use. Money is really neutral. Money is like a tool that you can either use as, you can use it for good or you can use it for bad. You can use it for good or you can use it for evil. Money is a tool. It's a neutral tool that you cannot really say, oh, it is because of the money. That is why these people are, that is why uh, these people are doing the evil that they are doing. But many people are not realizing it that it's not really because of the money. It is because of the condition where the person found he saw herself the condition would make people react so in reality money to poor people poor people they believe that money is the root of all evil but rich people believe that poverty is the root of all evil i don't know if you guys want to argue but you can let me know what you think in the comment section below because this is so real because if somebody is not poor, if somebody can eat three square meal a day, good food, they will not go out and steal. 
if somebody if somebody can afford to uh, pay their tuition they would not drop out of college some people dropped some people dropped out of college because they could not afford the tuition some people went to rob a bank because they could not even eat food they are hungry now they need to eat they decided to go out and do the evil so it is not the money that is the root to the evil rather it is the condition that equals the evil the condition is the poverty so that is number six number seven poor people have a lottery mentality lottery mentality in the aspect of they believe that oh if i can win this lottery right now i'm gonna buy my buy a big house i'm gonna buy a car i'm gonna live a very uh, rich life i'm gonna enjoy life i'm gonna you know i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that it is not a bad thing to play lottery that's not what i'm saying but that is a poor man's mentality how many rich people do you really see sitting down playing lotteries or how many rich people have you really came across uh you know and they are talking about how they want to win five million dollars no rich people don't really do that R rich people we believe in actions we believe in actions your actions would equals who you are going to be in the next five years for example rich people believe that if you invest wisely you buy stocks you buy shares you have money you save up and you uh you know you bought st uh, uh stocks uh shares you invested uh you you have money you decided to invest in your own self by going to school and acquiring a degree you know rich people believe in actions but poor people they have a lottery mentality so that is number seven number eight which is the last number eight is that poor people spend they spend more money than they earn but rich people save they save and then they invest it i know that i previously said that uh poor people believe in savings savings uh on this aspect i'm talking about a different category what i'm trying to say here is that poor people for example you see a poor man that has a job that uh, only pays like uh, 1500 bucks a year US 15 15 uh, 1500 bucks 1500 dollars oh, sorry not a year in a month 1500 dollars in a month or uh, let me say uh, 1600 dollars in a month so that is 800 dollars every two weeks one thousand six hundred dollars a month you find a poor man that makes one thousand six hundred dollars every month so that equals eight hundred dollars every two weeks so you find somebody that makes one thousand six hundred dollars a month and the person will be using a cell phone and iphone 11 an iphone 10 that is like one thousand dollars you will see them they live in a ghetto apartment uh, you know an apartment that is not even secured and then when you see them they drive a very big car and then when you check their bank account they don't have nothing saved up they don't have nothing left in that account so what i'm trying to say is that poor people spend more than they earn but you see a rich man he's so rich very very rich most of the time he will not even drive an expensive car he will not even drive a car that is so expensive I'm gonna use Nigeria as a case study I went to Nigeria last year I paid visit to different neighborhoods and I saw people and you will see some poor people that they don't even have savings they don't even have no money in their account left and yet they have a cell phone that is like $1,000 they don't even they, they are not even wearing good clothes and yet you see them having two cell phones that is the mentality of a poor man the poor man wants to live the other life today they don't want to think about the future the poor man wants to spend everything today but they are not trying to remember that the future is more imperative because the tomorrow that you have not yet seen 
It's very, very imperative. Poor man doesn't think like that. The poor man wants to spend all the money today. They want to enjoy their life and live everything today. But the rich man, they invest. So that's the difference. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, take the time to do so. This is CM Vevo, guys. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Stay blessed, guys. Peace out. Clocking out.